The MPP in December 2023 will go to the post to elect a new flag bearer for the party in the 2024 election. President Akufado, who has led the party for two terms as president, is not eligible to contest in the polls. Already, leading members of the party have expressed interest in replacing the president and leading the MPP into the December 2024 election. The Vice President, Dr. Mohamed Baumia, Trade and Industry Minister Alan Chamantin, Agri Minister Dr. Efri Yakuto, former Railway Minister Joe Gatti, and former Energy Minister Boachie Jako are all reported to be nurturing the dream of becoming presidential candidate of the party. The Vice President, who has been tipped by bookmakers as a possible replacement to Daniel Kufado, has in recent times made cash donations to the party across the country during its regional delegates conference. He gave 20,000 CDs to the regional secretariat of the party and 2,000 CDs each to the constituencies in the region. The chief of staff at the office of the vice president, Mr. Fedawari, in an interview with City News says the vice president will contest the flag bearership slot when the party opens nomination. No, no, when the time comes, yes, he will contest. When the time comes, I'm not shying away from it, but I'm saying if you read the papers, it's in the papers that uh, he's one of the front runners in contesting, but, but the time hasn't come yet. So I think it's a bit too premature for us to engage in that conversation. The party officially declares he's going to contest. When the time comes, you read my lips, even though it's covered, when the time comes, you know, he would, he would make public whatever his intent are. But, but I want to assure you that this has nothing to do with campaigning for any position in the party, except that he genuinely believes, like I also do, that the party on, ought to be resourced. Mr. Fedawari also denied reports that donations by the vice president to regional and constituency offices are aimed at influencing delegates to vote for him when the time comes. He's a member of the government. We very well understand that without the party, there is no MPP government. It is the party which seeks the mandate of the people of Ghana and once that mandate is obtained we we'll go ahead and form a government. Now if the party is organizing constitutionally mandated events and activities it's the responsibility of every government official to support and he's doing so in his personal capacity as a member of the party and also as the sitting vice president of the country. He does so not without any intent other than to sustain the activities of the party. And this is not the first time and certainly shall not be the last time. He continue to do that so long as he has the capacity to support the party. He will do that.